Simeon said to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the ruin and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign of contradiction, and your own soul a sword will pierce. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that the, your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, our, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show the in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, without dying you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. 
When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, another special celebration in the church, uh, Our Lady of Sorrows. We recognize Mary as being a very strong person. We recognize her as being a very faithful person, certainly, and willing to, and had the courage to stand at the foot of the cross as her son is so brutally treated and watches him die there. She, uh, we see in the, the depiction of the Pieta just the, uh, the lowering of Jesus' body into, into her arms, giving, her, giving him over to her in that way. And what could be a more sad moment than for a parent to lose a child? What could be a sadder moment than this person who so many had put so much of their uh, hope in is now dead before them? Well, I think one of the things that perhaps strengthen the Blessed Virgin Mary in this very difficult time of sorrow was the fact that she knew that he would rise. He predicted it so many times. His disciples were slow to believe it. But perhaps Mary is ahead of them in all of that. And that helped her through the sorrow. Though who could lose someone they love and not experience sorrow? and not be sad, and not cry, and not weep. We look to Mary, then, as the one who knows our emotions. We look, can look to her and identify with her when we are in sorrow. And with her, we can receive the promise of the resurrection from the Lord and know that However deep the sorrow is we are experiencing, there will be a time of resurrection. So let us pray. Uh, we offer the Mass uh, today uh, for one of the priests of our diocese who died recently, uh, Father Gabriel Meehan. We pray for the happy repose of his soul and that he may be presiding at the heavenly worship with our Lord. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We have so many to pray for. Uh, Renee Charbonneau, Mary Prock, Raymond Phillips, Mary Musgrove's brother, Dan, Eric Cornier, Ricky Maines, Marianne Polly, Harper Walker, Paul Shack's niece, Allison, Mary Beth Frosco, Carl and Peggy Ochowski, Jerry Brower and her niece, Sherry, Kitty Kopek, Kitty Spurrier, Dutch Hallingsey, and Sam and Ann Clark. We pray for God's healing for all of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all mothers who, and parents who uh, mourn the death of a child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In your wisdom, O God, you chose Mary to bear the good news of salvation through the incarnation of your Son. Through the intercession of Mary and of the Church, may we follow her example of unconditional obedience to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us, as a most devoted mother, when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, You gave us, through her, the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please make your spiritual communion with the Lord Jesus Christ now. Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves, for the Church's sake, 
what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.